Radical. Welcome to Radical Rapid Fire, cover response for November 7th through November 13th, 2022. Short comments, quick replies. Rune Mamba. Jordan Peterson had some health complications. He went on a full carnivore diet of only beef and water and said that he now feels much healthier and all symptoms went away. Full carnivore diet. Does that mean nothing but meat? Huh. That'd, that'd be killer on your digestive system, you know. Just nothing but meat. Uh, I will look up the full carnivore diet. The pros and cons, what other people think. I'm not going on the full carnivore diet. But I think if you take out beef, chicken, if you take out meat, then you probably will have some health complications. And that leads to the next comment. Did the next one? No, not that one. It'll come up. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to come up. Uh, but yeah, the full carnivore diet. Is any of you on the full carnivore diet? Art Bell, any potato update? Spuds for chads and chuds. Good mood boost according to your video on them. Well, I have stopped with potatoes. Not because I want to stop with potatoes. Actually, specifically mashed potatoes. I stopped with mashed potatoes because one morning I had a good bit of mashed potatoes and then I threw up. Felt like I was going to throw up. So they're good for you. They're good for the body. But I think maybe it's the fact I had too many mashed potatoes maybe in moderation maybe I'll squeeze some in right before uh, bed because sometimes if it's something that I feel like I'm gonna throw up then I'll eat it before bed and then in the morning you know my body will have metabolized it but uh, that's my potato update for you Art Bell I'm currently on hiatus from potatoes Dumez was you referring to angry video game nerds weird dance with Rex Viper the one where he's walking with his legs spread weird and uh, <laughs> trying to hold his shit in is what I thought it looked like. Yeah, that's the one that uh, some other people call it a different kind of walk. But the kind of walk where you're walking, it's hard to describe. You know, you're squatting down a little bit from a standing position and your knees are kind of going up and down. Like I'm, I'm doing the walk right now, but it's, it's hard to, uh, and I don't even know the video that I can link to where he's doing that. I just remember seeing it and going like, what the hell is that? You know, if you're in a rock band, that's the least rock band kind of thing to do. Well, I mean, I guess he could have started doing the Macarena or whatever, you know, or maybe like the, um, what the hell is that thing? The Fortnite dance or something stupid like that. Uh, maybe the Fortnite dance would actually work a little better than whatever that was. Ah, the sun is right in my eyes. I'm recording this right near the blinds, so I'm having to hold my right hand up against the sun as I read these. Damn. Disraps. Asking once for a donation for an expensive lawsuit is e-bagging? Your definition of bagging is also completely wrong, left out loud. Well, on the one, when it comes to Carl Jobst, uh, yes, if you're online asking people for donations to help you with your lawsuit, I don't see how anyone can not see that as textbook e-begging. You are asking people to donate money to you for your legal battles. Now granted, like I said in the situation, it's bad that he has to do that, and the fact that Billy Mitchell is doing that... Yeah, that's bad. It is, but it's also bad, you know, bad worse to get online and ask people for money to e-bag people for... Do there are lots of stupid people in the world. This wraps. What's the deal? Do you not understand what e-bagging is? I swear, for years on this platform, I tried to educate people on what e-bagging was. And there's still morons that don't know what it is. Nuts4040. 100% Rick, I listen to you while I do dishes, laundry, make dinner, build random shit. You're the best, my man. Well, I'm glad, Nuts4040. Um, do dishes, laundry, make dinner, build random stuff. Uh, what do you like to build? Do you put together, like, uh, model kits? Do you do woodworking? I'm very glad that I do my little part here to upload. 
to have some background noise for you. But do you ever uh, do you ever boink while you listen to me? I'm not gonna judge. You can you can answer honestly and clearly. Chicago Infinity. Kind of hard to have sex while listening to your MGR impression laugh out loud. Now, why do you say that, Chicago Infinity? I've been uh, near your house. I've actually watched you mount uh, your girlfriend there. And it was pretty hot. It was pretty hot, you know. I like the technique. I like that you pulled her hair. <laughs> she was a bad little girl. Um, I like that you spanked her bottom, made it a little red, you know, um, had a good stroke. You had a good stroke there, my man. Yeah. The only way it would be a little hotter is if it possibly was your cousin. Ooh. Hellbent 650. Just watch this British YouTuber DVD Fever Games making fun of Metal Jesus Rocks. I forget how much of a scumbag MGR is. Apparently he bought, stole, a rare game, rare game Boy SP of a little girl off a little girl for $1, then bragged about to Reggie. How could one normally take something valuable, 100 bucks or more so, from a kid? So you're saying he offered a dollar for this Game Boy SP, Advance SP, or she was trying to sell it for a buck? I, I don't know about this. And I can't verify this, um, you know, so I mean, maybe I will check that from DVD Fever Games out. Uh, should be easy to find that and locate it. But I mean, I can't verify that, so I can't say one way or the other. But if that's the case, and MGR, with all the money that he has from, you know, all the retro gaming stuff, only offered that little girl $1 for her Game Boy Advance SP, then yeah, that's that's pretty shitty, you know. 90 G. Tramps slash bums beg. How embarrassing. That being said, they actually need the cash for a sandwich and likely a beer. But hell I'd rather wing one or two pounds that way, or better still a children's charity. Uh, wing means you'd better, you know, rather give that to a charity. Yeah, you know. Always better to give that to a children's charity than to a YouTuber begging for a sandwich and a beer but you know if it was youtuber just you know asking for a sandwich and a beer and you were thinking well this person actually is broke how pathetic they're on youtube asking for a sandwich and a beer that's not nearly as bad as someone like carl jobst who has the financial means and the games sealed no less to actually sell off you know to fight their own legal battles um then someone just asking for a sandwich and a beer, you know. But it'd be kind of like funny if you see one of these YouTubers, you know, Dreamcast guy. I am all out of my money. I spent it all on PlayStation 4 games. Can you please donate money for a sandwich and a beer? I can drink water. Just give me a sandwich. <laughs> donate link button. Send me a sandwich. Not even money. You know, if they really want a sandwich, yeah. You know, just send sandwiches to their P.O. box. But nothing that'll spoil. Maybe like peanut butter. You know, peanut butter and jelly, something like that. Hans Coot. My cousin is in the movie Blue Streak as a pedestrian walking downstairs. Now that makes me want to watch that movie. Have I seen that movie? It makes me want to watch that movie to see that. It does. Now, at what point in the movie can you timestamp it for me, Hen Scoot? When does that happen? What are they wearing? You know, I want to see your cousin in the movie Blue Streak. That's pretty cool. Terry W. Eating chicken is so 2010. We're all supposed to eat insects now. Yummy. When it comes to eating insects, even for survival, I don't know. I might just die. If I was on an island and all I could eat is insects, I might just die. You know, because I'm looking at them things. And I know, like, looking at a chicken, you don't think to yourself, like, man, I just want to gnaw on that chicken or whatever. But, you know, you understand that a chicken is food for a human. Like, we get that. You understand that. Chicken? Okay, that's food. Something I can bite into, the flesh, right? But insects? Even if you were, like, raised to eat insects, 
Like, I wonder, like, I'm curious about this. Like, let's say you ne never eaten even chicken before a certain point and you look at the chicken, would it freak you out that you're eating chicken or you've been indoctrinated into eating meat since you were a kid? But think about insects. You look at insects and like, no, no, I could, I could never eat an insect. Like never, never eat an insect. Have any of you eaten insects though? Leave it in the comment section down below. Maybe you can change my mind. Maybe roaches are delicious. Mikhail Rivakov, we need meat. I, I tried to be, I tried the vegetarian diet and it almost killed me. Not proud of that. Damn. So trying a vegetarian diet almost killed you. I felt bad after two days, Mikhail, of not eating any chicken, not eating any meat. And maybe there were other things I possibly could have ate to possibly take the place of the chicken. But I don't believe that. I mean, what, like the burgers, the veggie burgers, what the hell are they made out of? Soy or whatever. I think it'd be terrible if you take out meat of your diet, especially if you're a man. If you take out meat in the diet and replace it with soy-based products, that's like a double whammy. Number one... You're not getting what your body needs and was designed to eat. Our bodies were designed to eat meat. That's part of their design. We were made, made to eat things like chicken. If you take that away and then you replace that with just soy or whatnot, then yeah, that's not going to be good for you. But I'd like, I don't want to, I mean, if you got time, how close to death were you actually? Like, you might be saying that in jest, but did you go to a doctor? And did a doctor say, like, you were close to actually dying because you went on a vegetarian diet? If that's the case, you know, we should really kind of call out vegetarians. Not call them out, but let them know that, hey, you could actually die. Blaze Panzer. Oh, that explains why Review Take USA likes his chicken so much. Laugh out loud. On a more serious note, I totally agree. I believe that people should eat meat. Real meat, too. Not that syn synthetic junk meat that's out these days. Okay, two things. Uh, synthetic meat? I didn't know there was such a thing as synthetic meat. Like, like, huh? Synthetic meat? Like, again, like, you know, you're not referring to, like, veggie burgers or whatnot, but synthetic junk meat? Or is that what's in maybe Taco Bell tacos? What the hell is in Taco Bell tacos? Is that actual meat or... <laughs> I question that. That's why I don't go to eat the Taco Bell. On um, the first thing, I forget what you were referencing it to. When did I bring up? Okay, the chickens was brought up, and um, when I was talking about uh, going on. Okay, not eating chickens. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. I understand it. Right, right. Uh, chickens. Let's see. In Review Take USA, people ask me all the time, "What's the deal with Review Take USA and chickens? Are they used to?" And I say, "I don't know." Like, I'm not sure. I don't have any more details than any of you on what's up with the chickens. Because you go there, you see the chickens in the thumbnails. You see he's got on the desk, like, a lot of chickens there. You see sometimes he be licking the chickens. Licking, 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 licking the chickens. You know, sometimes he does weird things with the chickens, you know. But there's also, like, horses, references to horses. But uh, um, one thing could be he's actually just a freak, you know. And he likes to go down on the barn and to, you know, get down on the barn and whatnot. Other thing would be probably he just wants to create people talking about something on the channel. So there's something new to talk about. Remember, like, he talked about, like, uh, like Ralph, and then there was something else. He's creating points of conversation, you know, so people can t get in the comment section and talk about things. I think it's just for interaction and whatnot. I think he's like really not freaky for chickens, but it's just like, it's just a technique used because he like wants more attention and YouTube is his business. So I, I think that's what it is.